salt and water, or Himalayan salt and water, or the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, or all three. Vegetables are also a stupendously important source of electrolyte minerals. Vegetables are living entities, at least they were, hopefully, shortly before we ingest them, and the life force is carried by these electrolytes. Veggie juice can be super helpful, and if done correctly, drinking veggie juice is a pretty close to instant way of raising your electrolyte levels and getting your adrenal glands its precious calcium, precious magnesium, sodium, and potassium, and chloride. It's precious salts. It's precious electrolytes. Get a Vitamix or a Nutribullet because you'll get the fiber. Grind up your celery, put some water and salt in there, spin it up in the vortex, drink it down. You will not believe how un it's just unbelievably satisfying. It's crazy how satisfying vegetable water or vegetable juice can be with some salt and spun around in a vortex. Try dropping a, ch a chunk of cucumber and some celery in a blender. I like mixing cucumber with celery. The cu celery can be a little bit bitter. That's one of the reasons why people stay away from these vegetables. They have a little bitter off taste. The bitter is the medicine called alkaloids. Celery can be a little bit bitter, but the cucumber can sweeten up the celery, can take the edge off the celery. So I always drop half a, half a cucumber or so in with maybe six or seven stalks of celery and some salt and some water, and I, it's like a homemade electrolyte beverage. It's so delicious, so filling, so satisfying. The veggies are loaded with these electrolyte salts, plus you get vitamins, especially the B vitamins, as a bonus. You get the electrolytes and the B vitamins as a bonus. The B vitamins help you handle sugar. They're your brain vitamins. They're your building vitamins. They're your detox vitamins. And again, like with the electrolytes, we tend to lose these Bs with our, as we urinate. And so most of us are electrolyte deficient and B vitamin deficient. And just dropping some celery and cucumber in some water is a great way to replace these nutrients. In addition to making sure that you're drinking salt water. In addition to make sure, making sure that you're getting your Beyond Tangy Tangerine sipping on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine throughout the day. The vortex is really important. You know how if you made a veggie juice, you may have noticed how when you first have the veggie juice, that uh, the veggie juice looks like one uniform drink, but over time, the veggie juice starts to separate. And you'll notice that solid material sinks to the bottom and watery material is, uh, is up on the top. So the, your juice will form two layers, a solid material on the bottom and a liquid layer in the, on the top. As this is occurring, the energy from the vortex and from the vegetables is starting to disperse into the atmosphere. The fact that when you blend your vegetable up for a few seconds or a minute or so, it's all together, that's the electrical energy that's holding magnetic energy, that's holding everything together. And when you drink it real quick, or over the course of a few minutes, you're drinking that magnetic and electrical energy. If you leave it sitting on your counter, that electrical and magnetic energy will disperse into the environment and your drink will be less electrical. It'll still be valuable, but it'll be less electrical. That's why you want to drink your veggie juices fresh. And the electrical energy, by the way, is what makes these drinks so satisfying without calories. You'll be energized without feeling that heavy weight that you get from eating a heavy meal because you're not getting any calories. You're just getting electrical energy. And because these things are so easy to process in the body, you won't have to deal with the sleepiness that typically follows meals. If you're fasting, these kinds of drinks can be super, super helpful. Okay, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back with your phone calls after this. 844-236-6010 uh, is our number. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're inter interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please call. The Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Those are my blogs. We update those regularly. And you can also pro order products directly off the website or by calling the phone team at 866-735-2470. If you're interested in purchasing any of my Truth Treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. And if you'd like to purchase any of our systemic enzymes or our gluten enzymes, Yesterday, we talked to Victoris Kalvinskis about using enzymes for gluten intolerance, and it turns out that there are enzymes that can help you process gluten. How do you like that? Not that gluten is a good thing, but if you really absolutely positively have to eat your, your bread and your pasta and whatever gluten-containing foods you like, get yourself on gluten enzymes. You could find out gluten digesting enzymes. You could find out all about that at brightsidehealthproducts.com, brightsidehealthproducts.com. 
All right, our number today, 844-236-6010. Time to hit our phones. Let's take our first phone call here. Marlene in Missouri, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, pharmacist Ben. Hey. Um, I talked to you last week from Minnesota, where I okay. live, but I'm now down with my daughter okay. in uh, Kansas City. Okay. And she did what you said. She's been fasting. This is the third day of fasting. Oh, completely? She's, she's just so weak. And, okay. And now nausea. Okay, good. Uh, so here's so what you she, need to do. What's she doing? Is she is she working or is she, is she go to work every day? What is she doing no. while she's, she's just laying down in bed? She, today she's just laying down. She's so weak today she's just laying perfect. down. Perfect, perfect. Just have her lay down, relax, take care of her. You know, that's, that's perfect because she, she doesn't have anything coming into her system. You may want to get her a little bit of celery juice. Okay. Okay. Or a little, maybe some cucumber juice, something very bland and very easy to digest. Nothing that's going to interfere with the colitis. Now, after three days, she had ulcerative colitis. Was that? Or Crohn's? I forgot what you told me. Yeah, ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis. Right. Okay, good. So here's what you need to do. Three days is plenty for a fast. Have her start to, with a little bit of celery juice or cucumber juice just to get her energy, uh, just to get her energy up. And guess what she's going to get to do now? This, she's going to love this, okay? Pick okay. her favorite food, her favorite food, and spend all day eating it. How do you like that? What a treat. Okay. That and, guess, and what's going to happen is she's going to find that she gets, her symptoms are going to come back. Her colitis symptoms are going to come back, more well, than likely. never left. Oh, she still has she, them. She still has she, diarrhea? Exactly. She's got diarrhea and blood. Oh, she's got diarrhea and blood. Get her some yeah. of that. Get her some of this. Keep her on the celery juice. What is she, What else is she doing? She may have an infection, or she may have something going on in there. Well, that's what I'm wondering. If there isn't something else, because she's so nauseous. The chicken. I made chicken broth and beef broth. She can't. It just she makes her nauseous. And the BCT she, seems to make her. Yeah, uh, there might be something going on there. She. How long has she had the colitis or the uh, the ulcerative colitis? Years. Yeah, years. Yeah, she may have something percolating in there. Does she have? Is she using any fermented she, foods or probiotics or anything? Well, she's on bioessence. Okay. And, and then we, um, and then we've had her on Z radical. She's able to tolerate she's, that. Okay. You told me to get the zinc piclinate. Well, to um, hang I off on the zinc, I, that could be a little bit heavy. Here's what you. This is what I would do if I were you. Okay. This is just me. This is my okay. opinion. All right. Celery juice and cucumber juice. If you can get her some swear V, that might help too. You know what that is? The, the, yes, uh, I do. Okay, get her on a little swear V. That's Jordan Rubin's product. Jordan Rubin used it to, tr to cure himself of ulcerative colitis, and I've been using it now for a couple, uh, probably almost a year. Uh, that'll give her a little bit of energy, plus it's fermented, plus it has some of the electrolytes in there. If she can continue her fast, that would be great with just the, with just the swear V and the celery juice. If you're going to give her solid food, or actually it's a good idea not to give her solid food, have her, can she sip on the chicken soup? She just got, it just makes her nauseated, and then, then she vomits again. Everything makes her nauseated and, and vomits? She doesn't, everything she puts in her system? It, it would, the, the Every, B, it, mainly it's the BTT that makes her throw up, but she's so nauseated, just the smell of the chicken soup makes her okay, feel nauseated. The only thing that made her throw up was the BTT. That's too intense. Okay. She may have some wounding in there. There may be some, especially if she's passing blood, there may be some wounding after, you know, how, has it been years that she's had this condition? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. She, she, it's her, how old is she, by the way? She's 52. Oh my goodness. So she's probably got some serious stuff going on there. If she's had this for a long time, she's probably tremendously malnourished. The less you put in her digestive system, the better off she's going to be at this point. Okay. Until everything heals up, you got to, you got to, uh, the chicken soup is, is going to be very helpful for it, but you want to do it diluted, tremendously diluted. Everything oh. she puts in, you know what I'm saying? Everything okay. she puts in her system has to be diluted. And what, what's going to end up happening is she's going to pass out water instead of stool. She'll have water. You follow oh. me? All and right. that's going to clear everything out. And there will be some benefit from the chicken soup, even if it's diluted, because some of that protein is still going to be in there. And some of those healing sugars will be in there as well. Polysaccharides will be in there as well. The less she puts in her system at this point, solid food-wise, the better off she's going to be. Give her system a chance to heal. The only issue is she's going to be tired because she's malnourished. Just keep her, you know, she's not to do anything. She doesn't have to go to work, hopefully. She can just kind well, of relax. Well, she's a 9- and 10-year-old. <laughs> So. Can you help? <laughs> you know, uh, that's, down, we're down here helping, but we're... Look, she didn't get into this mess overnight, so it's, it's going to be right. a while for the body to heal. But the yeah. less work her... This is the logic, okay? The less work 
her digestive system has to do, the more resource it, resources it will have available, the body will have available to heal. Now, if there is some kind of infection, which I don't think there would be, but if there is, that needs to be taken care of medically. This is the one time you need medical, medical intervention is when you have infection. Yeah. Okay, but I'm, not, I'm not sure that it's there because she would have a fever or some other symptomology. It sounds to me like she's just dealing with malnourishment. She does need to put something in her system at this point, and I would be doing it very dilute. I, know, I understand what she's saying about the smell. Any, strong, any kind of strong smells from food is going to trigger nausea, initiate a feeling of nausea, so dilute it as much okay. as you can. Okay, but you get her some of get her some of the, sh the the protein in the chick and the sugars from the chicken soup will be very healing, as well as the probiotics. And you're just going to have to steer the, in my opinion anyway, you're just going to have to uh, stay the course on this until she can start to until she starts to heal up. If it does get worse, then she's need she may have some kind of infection that needs to be addressed. Is she? Now, yeah. Now, how much pro? Uh, probiotics a day. How many? Hundred hundred billion units a day. But don't hundred. worry about it. It's, it's, yeah, hundred billion. And radical is. Should we continue with that? Absolutely. If she can do it. Uh, is she that she was holding down. Good. So You're talking about fucoid Z or Z radical. Z radical. Good. Okay. Yeah. Give her a couple capsules a day. Okay. Two caps. A yeah, day and stay day. in touch with me too. And let, why don't you shoot me an email? Let me help you personally, okay? Because I can't really uh, give you as much advice here on the on the radio. So will you, you send me an email? Yeah, put your phone number in there. I'll get back to you today. Make sure you say Marlene there, though, so I know it's you. I, I'm sorry. How, how do I email you? Ben, B-E-N, at K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar dot com. Make sure you put on there Marlene and put your phone number. Thank you very much. All right. God bless you. Good luck Thank with everything. You. We'll talk soon. Okay. Joy in, in Missouri. What's up, Joy? How you doing? Good morning. Hey, oh. your last caller is also somebody who is dealing with something kind of similar to what I was dealing with the last few weeks uh, for a family member. And uh, my initial question was going to be about Curcumin and how to enhance. Joy, you're cutting out, Joy. I'm only hearing okay. partial, partially, uh, uh, a partial, uh, uh, dis I'm only hearing you partially. So call back, uh, or I'm sorry, get me off speakerphone, and I'm going to put you on hold. We're going to take a commercial break. I'll get you first up, okay? Thanks, Joy. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, talking to Joy in Missouri. What's going on, Joy? Hi, Pharmacist Ben. Oh, much oh, better. I was much just uh, listening today for my first time. Oh, good. And my main question is about... I'm hearing a lot about turmeric or curcumin and using black pepper to sort of supercharge its effects. But I don't like black pepper because it's a spice that can irritate the Who told you about that? It's true. That it can be irritating. And, but there's an active ingredient in black pepper called piperine, uh -huh. I believe, and that um, helps the absorption of the turmeric. It's not the black pepper itself. It's the active ingredient uh, in the black pepper that increases the absorption of, of substances. Is that okay. what you're talking about? I believe so. Let me, hang saying, on just a second. Hey, Trevor, will you pick up the phone? I got, I'm got just talking to my producer here. Trevor, pick up that phone, will you, buddy? All right, go ahead, Joy. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Joy. Things that could be used, such as maybe cayenne or some other form of a pepper that, like jalapeno, habanero, any of those that could be used that would have the same ingredient. Do you know? Um, say that one more time. You're looking for something that will improve the penetration of the turmeric without having to deal with black pepper? Correct. You've got uh, it. I see what you're saying. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that's funny. It's funny you would mention that. If you go to Brightside Health Products, any of the mm -hmm. digestive, any of the enzyme products there are made with a very interesting ingredient that improves the penetration of active. So you might want to try uh, probably the Astra, maybe the Astra Ease. That's what I'd recommend is the Astra Ease. That'll upregulate or improve penetration of active ingredients if you can't deal with the black pepper. There's a product called Bioperin. If you could find Bioperin, B-I-O-P-E-R-I-N-E, Bioperin, you have to Google that. And that contains the piperine, which is the active ingredient in the black pepper if you don't want to deal with the black pepper. How'd you know about black pepper? That's kind of cool, Joy. Well, I listen to, to various shows, and I've been studying nutrition on my own since I was about 15 or 16. And oh, good deal. I've uh, listened to different wellness experts 
Dr. Thrash and others who have okay. mentioned not to use black if you can help it. But that's just me, and I know I don't like it, and 